you've got the administration pushing uh, for banks to reduce banking industries and fossil fuels, which, you know, completely disagree with. You've got legal entities and now you've got pressure to make in the big banks, not bank industries that are legal. Completely ridiculous. That's asinine that that is even coming across the desk. Now you've got the state legislature in Florida passing a, a, a bill that it looks like it's going to, it has a lot of legs. It's passed through the state house. It's going forward that is going to counteract that, that says you can't deny a bank. I mean, you can't deny a customer based on what business they're in. And, and there's a lot of criteria that you cannot, uh, you know, the way it reads right now, and it's probably already changed. It's going to change people them. But basically, you can't deny someone because their political opinions or speech, their affiliations, their religious beliefs. You can't not bank them. So this is even offering just traditional depository accounts. Any factor that is not quantitative, impartial, risk-based standard, any factor that includes person's business sector, IG, fossil fuels, gun manufacturing, any rating score and analysis or the like based on social credit score. So I get where they're coming from. They don't want to say, hey, you're coming from one angle. You can't bank this industry because we deem that it's not socially uh, responsible. But it's legal and they're still not this. But then on the other hand, it's they're, now this side is doing the exact same thing. So then this is for some banks to bank industries that maybe they're just completely not comfortable with and they have no expertise in. Banks are still private organizations and they should still have a right to bank who they want to. Totally agree with 90% of this. You know, No, you should not base anybody's accepting their deposits, their loans. I mean, it's ridiculous in this day and age that we even have to have someone that we're not going to, you know, provide banking services because of their political or social views or anything to that fact. I mean, that never even enters our, our mind when we're approving. We're, we're looking at it at as credit worthy cash flow character character in regards to the way they conduct their, you know, their financial affairs, not character on, I could care less on, you know, their um, beliefs outside of that. We're, we're focusing on what at hand of repayment or hand, conducting your account in good affairs. But on the other hand, if, you know, you've got community banks around the nation, they may not understand the ebb and flow of restaurants. So maybe they just don't do any restaurant financing. How are you going to force them to finance restaurants when they just don't have the expertise in-house? So this is a complete... You know, the pendulum is just swimming back and forth, and this is just overkill on both sides. It is absolutely completely ridiculous, and it's just going to affect everyone.